Hello everyone. As you know, Afghanistan, one of the foremost topics in the world now and uh, one of the most important issues about the country and country's future is the economics. Today we will discuss this thing with a knowledgeable, knowledgeable person, Mr. Abdul Wakil Muslim, who has studied in Islamic banking and finance. Mr. Abdul Wakil Muslim, welcome and thank you. Thank you for inviting me to this program. Uh, and also uh, thanks from all audience and uh, viewers that are listening to us. Thank you. Let's talk about the issue. Uh, our first question is a general question. Could you describe us, describe to us the Afghanistan's economic conditions? What are the primary sources of income of the country? And how is the general economic situation? Uh, you know, Afghanistan has suffered from the last 40 years from wars and uh, now American uh, withdraw their forces and almost it's completed and Taliban take over the capital city of Kabul and now it's uh, in their control uh, so obviously uh, the economical condition of one country where it, uh, the world system is changed to another system or there is a political instability it effect on economics economically in the country so uh, the sources the, so the income sources of Afghanistan are a lot the, in Afghanistan is full of uh, minerals uh, Afghanistan is an agricultural country they export dry fruits and uh, fresh fruits they also uh, produce uh, rugs and carpets uh, they also export these things these are the uh, income sources of Afghanistan, which is totally based on uh, uh, this. Uh, I have read in, uh, in an article that about uh, 70, uh, in previous government, 70% of economics was based on aid. But now, uh, the uh, power city or Afghanistan is under the control of Taliban, and there is a uh, uh, contradiction between Taliban and foreign countries so they have some condition and they postponed all their aids so now what will what will the new government do now we will discuss these things that the new government will focus on the, the sources which are already available in Afghanistan they have to focus on that okay uh, so, what are the export items of Afghanistan? I mean, what can a trader trader buy from Afghanistan, or what can he invest in? The export item, as I told before, uh, uh, about uh, uh, forty-five percent are uh, uh, carpets and rugs are exporting items from Afghanistan. Uh, they have international market like. Uh, it, the carpets of Afghanistan are available in Dubai, in Turkey, in Iran, Pakistan, uh, Uzbekistan, I think in Europe is, as well. This is the most uh, famous uh, uh, item, uh, your product uh, that has been exported. And other uh, are uh, dried fruits. Dried fruit include uh, almonds, uh, saffrons, uh, uh, pistachios, these things that are uh, have a uh, uh, global market of Afghanistan, they are very famous, their quality, these are the export items. Fresh fruits like um, uh, pomegranates, grapes, uh, and these things, they have been exported to only to neighbor, uh, neighboring uh, countries like Pakistan, Iran, uh, uh, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan. Uh, because uh, uh, there is no cold storage in Afghanistan that they have to protect for a long period of time. Because these items are perishable, that can be damaged uh, in a short time period. They, that's why they are uh, trans, uh, transport, uh, export these items to the neighboring countries, which is very near to Afghanistan. These are the main sources of uh, you know, export. Uh, and the foreigners to, in, to come and invest, do investment in Afghanistan, or the main source is telecommunication telecom sector the biggest 
uh, sector which the invest uh, investment is required for foreigners to invest in telecom sector because you know uh, if you uh, go 30 miles or 40 miles away from the main city of Kabul away your the network of mobiles and internet will be weak that's why this network and the other remote areas there is no network available for this uh, for this telecom sector it's not only just uh, mobile networks all tvs etc all are included in telecom sectors and this the most important one is telecom sectors then others are construction uh, construction are the main uh, sources to invest uh, in, the, in that sector uh, for example building uh, hospitals uh, building roads bridges these are the main things that uh, foreigners or foreign countries can invest in afghanistan okay uh, or other question is about uh, self sufficiency uh, is afghanistan a self sufficient country economically or is it relies heavily on outside financial sources basically if we look now there is a problem economically a lot of because we are seeing here the value of money rupees decreasing day by day but this we can check that uh, economically there is a lot of problems uh, because so taliban have uh, newly controlled the uh, uh, government uh, the city of Kabul and they have not yet decided the uh, trees or they have not yet started the organizations uh, because of this banks and all other things are closed and uh, obviously they they are impact on uh, economic system so after this inshallah Taliban leaders are very savvy they can control economic they can uh, better make better economics for Afghanistan because they are very uh, 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 fond of uh, uh, Afghanistan. They are uh, take care of Afghanistan. They are the true leaders of Afghanistan. They, if they convince foreign countries like China to come and invest in Afghanistan. If China comes to Afghanistan, uh, for, there it will be a benefit economically for both countries. If China comes to Afghanistan for mineral resources, they will build for them. There will be required a electricity. For them, there will be required a, ro a route. They, they will be uh, a road as well as uh, a railway track. They will build also that, and they will make to construct a road for Wahan border, border, you know, yes. Wahan border, from that way, then, uh, the Chinese products will come directly to Afghanistan. Now, the Chinese product which is using in Afghanistan, they are coming through Karachi, Karachi border, then uh, Chaman border, through that, there is a, a big route. And if the Wahan border is constructed, the road is constructed, uh, everything will be fine and they will directly come to Afghanistan in a short time. So this is the uh, main issue that Taliban leaders will uh, very savvy. They are taking the economics very uh, carefully uh, to, to self-sufficient the country. And uh, they want to uh, they want to make the economic without any foreign aid. They want to make the economic of Afghanistan independent. Without, they want the economic of Afghanistan that does not based on foreign aid. They want to uh, relieve these things. This is the main things the uh, the Taliban leaders are looking for. Uh -huh. They want to the countries come and invest. In. Investment. Uh, but but as you know, uh, if the Wakhan corridor is opened to China and Afghanistan, and uh, the road from China, Karachi, Chaman, and Afghanistan is closed, uh, this will be negative effect on Pakistan. What will the consequences of uh, this thing? I have uh, studied uh, in day after day, two days ago that uh, 
40 percent trade has been increased in pa from pakistan afghanistan is totally based on pakistan totally not but uh, based on pakistan there will be no consequences if the china uh, corridor is open and there are a lot of other ways because some pakistani products like cements medical everything they are coming from pakistan people are using pakistani product as well there will be a little bit uh, uh, impact on the trade between pakistan and afghanistan because you know the export from afghanistan is based on pakistan a lot of products uh, perishable products like tomatoes onions fruits fresh fruits they are uh, uh, export to pakistan as we are seeing that when the season of onions and tomatoes are off there is a shortage of onions and tomatoes in pakistan the prices become high when there is a season of uh, uh, onions and uh, tomatoes etc in afghanistan and exports started to pakistan the prices become low we talked about uh, available uh, sources available economic sources but uh, there is also potential economic sources in Afghanistan. Are these sources, the potential sources, sufficient enough to cope with the economic crisis in Afghanistan, which continuing for decades? The potential sources of uh, Afghanistan that is available now are, you know, as I said before, uh, carpets, rugs, uh, dry fruits, fresh fruits, all these things are the, uh, the potential sources of uh, income of Afghanistan economics. If the new government is focused on these things, they uh, give credibility to the uh, to the producer that are produce these products. They uh, provide some uh, loans to these uh, producers to pro produce these products, and also make uh, also provide facilities to provide these products to other countries uh, and also make a market for these products in europe in other countries uh, by marketing by uh, by marketing the government should help these producers to make the quality of these products good good quality now good quality that make a value in the market of other countries so inshallah i hope by doing these things uh, the economy the economy of afghanistan will uh, be uh, stable uh, let's talk about the uh, underground resources uh, especially after the taliban take over the kabul city uh, the people started to talk about these underground resources uh, it's being said that these resources are worth trillions of dollars uh, could the new, go new government in Afghanistan utilize these resources? Yeah, uh, as we know, Afghanistan government cannot utilize these resources. Uh, that's why they are meeting with China or other countries. Uh, they are contacting with them. They are they held uh, meetings like uh, before two weeks. Uh, the Taliban delegation went to China. They met with the foreign minister of China. The China diplomats met nowadays in uh, Kabul as well to discuss all these things, um, to do agreement uh, with the China to come and utilize and to take out these resources. For utilizing these resources, they will require electricity. For utilizing, they will require route to take these resources to the China. For them, they require to build the or construct the road, as well as they can uh, make the tra uh, railway track as well. Afghanistan cannot uh, utilize, but I'll say I will I would say one thing that Taliban leaders should uh, say to them in a contract or in agreement that you have to train our person as well train afghans uh, to yeah, utilize the resource yeah to uh, train afghan as well if chinese only chinese are working there is no benefit for afghanistan only benefit for china 
so if they train Afghans as well, there will be a benefit. And after the completion of uh, agreement or contract, uh, then they can leave Afghanistan. And those who have those Afghans, they have been trained by Chinese. They can utilize uh, these resources. Uh, as I as I know, as I heard. Uh, the Taliban's Cultural Commission uh, member Abdul Qahar Balkhi uh, said that the countries like South Korea may come to Afghanistan and uh, help the Afghans to utilize these resources. Uh, are there any other country than China to help uh, new Afghan government to uh, utilize these underground resources? You know, uh, America, USA also want to utilize these resources. America yeah. also want to come and utilize, but uh, I don't think so uh, for America, Taliban will give any contract. So um, China is the most uh, candidate for these resources to utilize. And because, uh, because Taliban have already met with them, have already sent their delegation, and also I think they have um, done some contract and they have said that we have our embassy will be open, remain open in Afghanistan. We will not close that. And we can check from the situations that uh, China can, China will come and uh, utilize these resources. Uh, so how the Taliban moment, uh, any experts or cadres specialized in economy and finance? Yes. Definitely they have, but they should not stop at this point. They have to train more and more. They have to train a lot of in the technology sector, telecom sector, everywhere, economical sector. They have, but in a limited number. But now they will require a lot. Now they will also take benefits from the spurs of economic uh, uh, that have been uh, living in Afghanistan, that have worked in previous government, they will also take benefits from them as well. Uh, and uh, But now Taliban that are uh, ideologically with Taliban, there are limited numbers. And I want to suggest that they have to train, they have to uh, uh, make uh, more, uh, make the number uh, a lot. Because with a limited number, we cannot do anything. There is a lot of sectors, a lot of uh, uh, sectors in Afghanistan, not only economics, technology, electricity, uh, uh, water uh, controlling system, all these things require uh, trained people. Nowadays, you are looking at our trained people, they have been uh, evacuating from Afghanistan by Americans. That's not good. That is called human capital. Taliban should now work on human capital. They, they should also work on uh, economic problems. Side by side, they should make human capital. Without that, they cannot run. There is a proverb in Pashto that uh, I will say and then I will translate uh, into English that uh, it means that they give to you fish but they do not teach you how to catch the fish that's the main thing we have to look we have to train yeah, with the help of this, as I said before, that China will come and they will utilize these resources. Uh, but if they don't train Afghans, then it's useless. Do you think that uh, Turkey and um, other Islamic countries called be a, can be a partner uh, in these regards? Yeah, Turkey is a Muslim country and we have also the Hanafi Mazhab. Uh, this relations as well. Uh, Turkey, nowadays they have uh, some uh, contacts with them to uh, have technical 
support for the Taliban in the year course. Inshallah, they will do something for that. Turkey will come and they will help uh, Taliban in technical support and they will train people. The main purpose for the Taliban leaders to focus on to train the local people, Afghan people, to after 10 years or 20 years, they have to stand at the stage that uh, the Afghanistan will not be uh, will not be based on other people or other countries' people. They will be uh, based on our own people. It will be good for Afghanistan. Sure. Uh, and another uh, matter. Uh, it's a poppy cultivation and narcotics, as you know. Uh, Taliban is continuously yeah. stating that they will eradicate the poppy cultivation and narcotics. Uh, but yeah. how how can they manage to do this and how does this economically affect the country? They can, as in the previous uh, Imarat uh, uh, government in 1996, 1997, they have uh, banned narcotics and these things in one order. At this time, they will also ban all these things in a single order. But what will be the impact? The impact will be this, that uh, people will be unemployed. But for that, they have to uh, uh, motivate these people to cultivate wheat, to cultivate grapes, to cultivate pomegranates. But for them, for these things, they have to provide facilities to export these things, to talk with other countries to accept our products, to provide them loans, to provide them uh, materials that can helpful in the uh, to produce these fresh fruits, wheat. And these are the uh, main things that can uh, manage by Taliban leader and to ban narcotics uh, cultivation. Another issue, it's a, a more digital and more technologic issue. Uh, there are rumors that the new government in Afghanistan will legalize the uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, I know that you are a knowledgeable person about yeah. these cryptocurrencies. Will these rumors turn out to be true and what is the importance of the cryptocurrencies? Uh, I have talked to some Taliban members. Uh, uh mostly they don't have enough information about what is cryptocurrency because there is no materials in Pashto language so they don't know about crypto, uh, cryptocurrency they only just uh, listen that there is a cryptocurrency digital currency and i don't think so they will legalize uh, cryptocurrency because you know they will require information from muftis from uh, ulamas as you know, they will also contact with the Deobandi ulamas. They have already given the fatwa that it is haram uh, because they are saying that it is used for speculative purposes. At the back of cryptocurrency, there is nothing. There is nothing uh, physically existence. Ask from Mufti Taqi Usmani, the prominently uh, scholar of economics. Uh, he also he become uh, neutral regarding uh, cryptocurrency bitcoins uh, and he said that uh, yeah, i will not give fatwa either it is halal or haram i'm doing research a lot of research required for that after that we will uh, give a fatwa that it is haram or halal taliban are not uh, that much information regarding cryptocurrency and we are working on that uh, to legalize uh, but I don't think so. They will not uh, accept this. Uh, do you do you see any future of uh, cryptocurrencies in Afghanistan uh, uh, in the matter of importance? Can they have uh, any role uh, or any importance in the future of country if they legalize it? Uh, in future, the main problem, first of all, they have to people should try hard. But those who are who are having uh, cryptocurrency knowledge. They should uh, spread the information. They should uh, make the people uh, that these are the cryptocurrency, give them the information through media, through social medias, everything. After that, the most, the main problem, their usage. 
how to use this thing. Other problem is network, mobile. Those people are you who can understand uh, using mobile that they have uh, literate how to use mobile smartphones. If you go to remote areas, they will not understand. Either a lot of people they have smartphones only for Facebook, nothing else. They will not even know how to dial the number. They only use Facebook, nothing else. These are the main problems. First of all, we have to educate people regarding cryptocurrency. First of all, the main problem is to educate our leaders, our leaders, and then we will tackle all these problems. Then we will educate the civilians, local peoples, how to use this, how to use this for exchange purposes. Uh, these are the main things that uh, we are facing in Afghanistan regarding cryptocurrency. Uh, what are your predictions of the uh, future banking system in Afghanistan? As you know, uh, today in the today's world, uh, interest and usury, riba uh, issue is seen as an inseparable part uh, of the banking system. And usury is forbidden in Islam strictly. Uh, what can the new Islamic government do about it? Uh, could, could they build a, a usury free banking system, usually free economic and financial system in Afghanistan? Uh, yes, definitely they will uh, do that uh, because there are a lot of uh, have uh, a lot of work has been done on Islamic banking. There is uh, there are a lot of research articles that have been a way to use usually free banking system. Uh, they can take benefits and uh, Taliban leaders know about Islamic banking well. The, the books of the King Sumani Sahib has been translated to Pashto. They have a lot of uh, given the advantages of uh, Islamic banking. Inshallah, and there are a lot of people they have been uh, graduated from uh, uh, International Islamic University Islamabad, uh, have done PhDs, uh, done masters, and they went there to Afghanistan and they will inshallah tackle and will fully fully Islamic banking they will uh, practical they will show to the world that how we can Islamize the banking system inshallah there are a lot of ulamas they can do these things another huge financial problem worldwide is taxes you know Yeah. Uh, the heavy taxes are crushing the ordinary and poor people especially worldwide uh, in your view what will be and must be the new taxing system in Afghanistan will the new uh, Islamic government take other taxes than uh, you know in the Islamic fiqh or shur jizya zakat etc uh, no they will also take all shur zakat and uh, they will also take taxes on uh, normal taxes but they will not uh, i think they will not take income tax but they will take all other taxes like on products uh, food products everything the taxes from uh, other countries the products which come from other countries they will take, take custom duties they will take all these tax yes uh, nowadays uh, islamic emirate uh, leaders they are they have uh, decreased the rates But uh, I'm not uh, agree. They have decreased 70% uh, taxes on uh, daily use daily uses uh, products. 70% decrease. But I'm not agree with this because to run a country that have facing economical problems and uh, uh, decreasing the rate of the yeah you have to decrease the rates but in a friendly business way not that much that you will not be able to there become the salaries of uh, employees uh, all these things how to tackle these things you have to uh, decrease the rate of taxes a little bit not that much 70% is too much and you know one thing more uh, one thing more is that they have now 
increase the uh, decrease the taxes but if after some time they increase the taxes there will be a problem from the local people from civilians because they will ask why you have uh, increased the taxes so these are the some problems and another issue uh, about uh, government interventionism uh, what will the new government's approach about the government in uh, interventionism and in economics yeah they will definitely support private sector as well because uh, there is small enterprises in uh, afghanistan uh, like producing soap like producing uh, uh, shoes like uh, uh, carpets rugs all these things are small enterprises they are they are all private and uh, they will not uh, they will support these things because if they support these things and they support and they facilitate to export these things automatically the economic situation of a country will be good uh, so you know, my thought is that that uh, taliban leader will support private sector as well uh, there is a big huge issue which you talked about uh, the chinese influence uh, what do you think about the Chinese influence in the finance and economics worldwide, not just in Afghanistan? As you know, they have serious economic power, and with this power they are making political gains uh, in the world. Uh, especially with uh, the loans and investments, China invaded some countries economically. You are afraid of uh, being bound to China economically? I would say that uh, Taliban leaders, Taliban government, the new government will not do that things that invade economically by China. They will do an agreement that will be free of that to invade a country economically. Because you know, uh, Taliban leaders are very savvy, and they can, uh, they are uh, doing agreements or uh, whatsoever. Uh, with very focus on it what is the benefit what will be the benefit in future and now so they will not they are also looking to the future what will be the consequences of this contract in the future if i get loans from the china they will invade me but they will they should and i believe that taliban leaders are focused on that will focus on that, that they should not do such agreement that uh, sometime after 10 years, 15 years, uh, they will be bound to China, like other countries they have invaded economically. I think Taliban leaders will not do that. Just like Pakistan, you know, Pakistan's authorities cannot say a little thing, a little word against the China about the Uyghur uh, issue, as you know. Imran Khan before said that I don't know what's happening in East Turkestan, etc. Is something like that can happen in Afghanistan too? Yes, the Pakistan have been invaded by them, but uh, inshallah, I believe that Taliban leaders will not do by looking to the uh, previous experiences like Pakistan and other countries. They will not do such agreements with the Chinas to come here and economically our country inshallah this will not be happen what uh, are your last words uh, to our audience and people on turkey we are as a muslim brothers support us in everything now we need your support in technology as your country is advancing these things afghanistan need you as well as financially uh, technologically uh, you have to support us, you have to train our Afghan brothers and uh, it will be a great uh, help of uh, Turkey people. The local Muslim, thank you very much uh, for your contribution to our program. Thank you, thank you, thank you sir.